why is it that in bjp ruled states the bjp's the ed is dormant i mean you cannot have two laws in this country Sir. one for opposition ruled states and leaders one for bjp ruled states and leaders so thank you thank you mr rajib uh, mr kejriwal uh, came with a message of that he is a crusader against corruption किसी के खिलाफ कोई शंका भी हो तो उसको अरेस्ट कर लेना चाहिए उसको सॉरी उसको रिजाइन कर देना चाहिए एंड एंड ही शुड बी अरेस्टेड इमीडिएटली आई मीन दिस व्हाट ही स्टार्टेड विद एंड एंड दिस अभिषेक मनु सिंह भी जी इज कंटेस्टिंग द केस व्हाई डज मिस्टर केजरीवाल हायर अभिषेक मनु सिंह भी अदर देन हिम फॉर हिमसेल्फ for other cases to pursue in the court no you, you are not answering my question rp singh na rp singh bhai na idhar ki baat sir sir rp singh na idhar ki baat kare na udhar ki baat maine aapko sawal pucha why is it that in bjp ruled states the enforcement directorate is dormant acha acha or or that as in maharashtra Rajin all the ki. leaders who have switched over their cases have gone into cold storage i'll give you the full list bhavna gavli pratap sharma now ravindra waikar all their cases into cold storage has the case case has been closed no has the case been shut no Sir. and i am requesting again let the uh, mr kejriwal can i complete rajiv plow me to complete please okay uh, i'll uh, appreciate mr kejriwal or even for that regard you can hire mr abhishek munsi we i'll pay the fee if mr kejriwal uh, uh, doesn't want to pursue the uh, cases against crusader against the corruption i'll pay the fee if he can win the cases he the, the fees is on my head otherwise he should pay the double the fee to me sorry sir you're not answering my question you're not answering my question to say that the I'm cases have not question, been sir. closed i'm asking the question sir none of the cases are that's not good enough for me you're sending me anyone summons any, to opposition leaders not, and not, no summons to the bjp leaders why don't you send summons to the leaders who have switched you, over you in maharashtra not, no 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 let, let me let me let me let me let me let me tell you you just spoke about uh, soren sahab i mean uh, mr shibu soren yes uh, sorry hemant soren yes. but the case against him was filed by the local police again in, in the land scam it was the local authorities which filed the case and then then the ed came in in, in, in the case mm -hmm. it was not that ed filed the case initially so there have been cases which in which have been uh, filed by the local local agencies or right. the local administration even in mr kejriwal's case it was a congress party they claimed them so anil chaudhry claimed that he was the one who filed the fir against mr kejriwal and that's how the complete case sir, uh, came in for so i am afraid i am afraid sir, you are, complete, no 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 sir you bet you are not answering my central question and therefore i must move on you are not answering why there are different rules in this country in bjp ruled states and opposition ruled there states there are different rules there, there are different, different rules i'm giving you the many example just as mr kejriwal has to answer sir, why is avoiding some of any case which has been shut sorry that's not good enough you're not summoning them anymore any the case, case has gone into cold storage no ajit pawar's case the economic no, no. offenses wing says we have no more we want the case closed i i, I, I give case. you a challenge i give you a challenge i give you a challenge rajiv i give you a challenge now on ajit pawar okay now you're saying what i give you a challenge on, on ajit pawar please hire the best lawyer i'm committing on your channel that i'll pay the complete fees please go against ajit pawar if there's a case okay Fact let me, no let me take that okay that's a that's a point i want to take to you shama mohammed what rp singh is saying that if all these people are so innocent or those who got away uh, are innocent then go against sir ajit pawar take a uh, you know get the best lawyers and go after the bjp leaders who are allegedly involved in these scams now that is the argument the government keeps making the prime minister no less even at the india today conclave said that look we are uh, look at the number of inquiries that are taking place the assets that we have seized look at the ed's performance he is praising the ed okay so let me get to that he says go to court court will take time by the time the lok sabha elections will be over number 1 number 2 ed and the cbi is with, with huh. is not with us. Let let I will say I did not interrupt. Please let me finish. Two thousand four to fourteen. I never interrupted. I never uttered a word. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Shama Mohammad. We had ED investigating around twenty six leaders at that point of time. Of that, six were from the Congress Party, three from the BJP. As you remember, during our time, any minister had corruption or corruption allegation, he was asked to step down, and there was a CBI probe. Rajdeep, you know that very well. Now, what we see, I'm just going to digress to the CBI, the Bombay High Court. What did it say in the Chand Chanda Kocher case? It said very clearly the arrest was illegal, illegal, and it was abuse of power. Exactly what today the Supreme Court said on the ED. So these these are not the words of the Congress Party. 
Now, even in the Hemant Soren case, he did not appear for their questioning in Delhi. What did they do? They put out a poster saying 11,000 rupees reward. Hemant Soren is absconding. Now, I don't see that alacrity on Ajit Pawar, Himanta Biswasa Sarma, Suvindu Adhikari, Narayan Rane. He said, whose case is closed? Pratap Sarnayak's case in 2022 was opened in May. In 2022, September, after he joined Shiv Sena Shinde faction, the economics offense wing said, there is nothing. Please close the case. And the ED has closed the case. If you don't know R.P. Singh, Please go and no, check. The ED so, has not closed the case. Let me give you a fact check. The uh, economic offense wing has recommended that the case be closed. But I want to ask you this, okay. ma'am. No, no, I want to ask you this. Last year in September, all the opposition parties, 14 of them, went to the court and said, look, please give us some protection because the, uh, the PMLA is being used by the ED to target opposition leaders. The court said, we can't give any special privileges to politicians. You come with individual cases, prove that the case has been wrongly put, and we'll act. That's the, that's the law. So there's an issue on that, Rajdi. For example, during the Chhattisgarh election, they came against a former Chhattisgarh chief minister, Bupesh Bagel, saying a gaming app issue. All right. Mm -hmm. There's an investigation opened immediately because the election was on. Then once the election is over, we don't hear anything about it. Mm -hmm. So it's a pattern. Now what we see is RJD. What's happening? The whole family was questioned. And at the time when the case, the land for job scam, according to them, happened, it was 2004 to 2006 to 9. And that time, Tejasvi was a teenager. His name is there. His siblings' name are there. So what does it show? Rohit Pawar, for example, in, in the Maharashtra, he got a, a sugar mill worth 54 crore from the state government and others bought it for 25 crore. They have attached Rohit Pawar's. So this is the question we ask. The pattern is, it's an ecosystem. There's a pattern when elections come in, you go after opposition members. So the case prolongs. People are, how you know, there's a show with the media that these politicians are corrupt. You should not vote for. And that is what is happening. They have okay, I take your point, ma'am. I take your point. Let me come to you, therefore, Yashovardhan Azad. You see, the sense I'm getting, and this has been a debate we've had for months now, that we have a 12th man, if I may call it that, in Indian politics at the moment, squarely batting for one side and batting with huge powers. And that's the ED. Surely the IPS officers or the IRS officers involved, who do they take their orders from? The PMO, the finance ministry, the home ministry? Let's be honest now, you're a retired officer. No, no, even when I was not retired, I was pretty candid about these things. Uh, let me say one thing, uh, uh, Rajdeep, that the taint is on both sides. There is uh, just because the government is targeting the opposition, and I agree with it. You cannot say that you should not uh, institute cases or you cannot investigate. That is a different issue that they are not targeting their own. Now, how do we solve that? Unless the court takes it suo moto or something, or there are, you know, officers of spine, as you were talking about. Yes, you're right. Unless you give the autonomy, the requisite autonomy to the ED or the CBI, this thing will continue. Let me ask you another thing. Why doesn't the opposition go to the court and talk about the autonomy to be given to these institutions? Why doesn't the opposition go and raise the issue before the Supreme Court about the police reforms and fixity of tenure? Why doesn't the opposition talk about what is happening in most of the states where you're having acting DGP, which is in direct contravention with the law laid down by the Supreme Court given in the listed in the police reforms. So you see, we don't talk about basic. And last thing, Rajdi, it is very well known that the grease of politics run today is the basis is corruption. If you see the electric bond scheme, where the entire scheme has been, you know, rendered unconstitutional, how are you running the elections? You should stop it. You should have well, a SI. Let, let, that's and, another and, debate for another day. The fact at the moment is my focus has been on the enforcement directorate and the way they pick and choose <laughs> cases. The selectivity is the problem at one hand. On the other hand, the optics of politicians not willing to even appear before the ED despite repeated summons also sends out the wrong message. So both sides have much to be questioned about. But for now, the ED clearly has become a 12th man in the elections of 2024. And that's not good for democracy because then 
it's not a level playing field. For a level playing field, an enforcement agency cannot be weaponized and used only against one side. That's effectively, in a way, what the courts are also saying when they today rebuke the ED for the manner in which detentions are taking place.